Our Time for All Ages is inspired by this book, She Stood for Freedom, the untold story of a civil rights hero, Joan Trumpauer Mulholland, by Loki Mulholland and Angela Farewell, illustrated by Charlotta Jansen. Enjoy a summary of this story along with the illustrations and primary source photographs of actual events. Joan grew up in Arlington, Virginia, at a time when there was great discrimination and hatred against black people. It was a time of segregation when there were separate bathrooms, schools, even places on the bus where white or black people could sit. It was even against the law for whites and blacks to worship together. In church, Joan was taught that God loved all his children, no matter the color of their skin, and people should treat each other the way they wanted to be treated. As a young girl, she had the opportunity to visit her grandmother in Georgia in the summer. This was her favorite time of year because she got to visit her grandmother, her cousins, and her friend Mary. Joan and Mary would go on adventures together, but the rules were clear to not go beyond the Coca-Cola bottling plant. The black area of town was there, and that was forbidden. When Mary dared Joan to go down the dirt road together, Joan could see that things were very different for the black people than for her own white family, who was considered to be poor. The black schoolhouse was a one-room shack on stone piles with a stove in the middle for warmth. Nothing like the brand new school for the white children. Joan's soul was rattled. She knew this wasn't fair. She decided she was going to do something about it when she had the chance. Years later, Joan would attend Duke University at her mother's insistence. Duke was a segregated school attended only by whites. While there, Joan was invited to a demonstration in Durham. She knew her family would disapprove, but shouldn't she do what was right, even if it wasn't easy? So she joined the civil rights movement. Joan later left Duke and participated in many sit-ins and demonstrations with new friends she made at Howard University. In May of 1961, two passenger buses rolled out of Washington, D.C. with black and white riders in the seats. They wanted to draw attention in a peaceful way to segregation in the South. When Joan saw a photo of her friend, Hank Thomas, in front of one of the buses while it was being burned, she and her friends made their way to Jackson, Mississippi to join in. They were arrested once they were there and sent to Hines County Jail, and from there they were sent to Parchman, the most notorious prison in America at the time. After she was released from prison, Joan stayed in Mississippi and attended a historically black school, Tougaloo College. In May of 1963, Joan participated in a sit-in demonstration at a lunch counter in Woolworths. Violence ensued by those who believed in segregation, and while Joan was scared and thought they might not make it out alive, she didn't back down. Joan continued through a social justice journey, joining the March on Washington. There, she was inspired by the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. She and her friends attended the funeral in Birmingham after the 18th Street Baptist Church bombing. Joan knew that good always triumphed over evil and they would succeed as long as they never quit. Many people say Joan is a hero, but she'll tell you she's not. Anyone can make a difference, Joan says. You don't need to be a Dr. King or a Rosa Parks. Find a problem, get some friends together, and go fix it. I saw something was wrong and decided to do something about it. What can you do? You can do the same thing Joan did when she was a little girl in Georgia. She decided to do what is right. Thank you, Joan.